Hey guys, Khalid from Kiki Fanatics Magazine here. I'm here at Newlands for the four-day game between Western Province and the Rocks. Great victory today for you, Skip. Um, let's start with the game first before I get into your personal performance. When it comes to the batting first and your decision to bat first on this particular strip, I was trying to look at it and see your, your, your um, thoughts behind it. What was your thoughts in your mind when you, when you chose to bat first here? Uh, I think just chatting to the groundsman, there was a bit of uh, there was concern that it might dry out towards the end of the, the game. So, yeah, there was obviously quite a lot of grass on it uh, the first morning, but Newlands is generally quite slow on day one. So even if there is a little bit of uh, nip, it normally does too much and does it quite slowly. And um, obviously with uh, Brom, the groundsman, saying that it's going to dry out as the game goes on, I thought um, if we can get through that first period before lunch, I think it'll be quite a good batting wicket. So, yeah, that is really the thinking. Um, I don't really like to bowl first generally anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be very, very green for that to happen. So, yeah, yeah for me it was, was quite an easy decision. Excellent. It's nice to get into a captain's mind and think about these things and for you guys to also learn these type of things when it comes to selecting to bat first, bowl first, especially when you go into Australia now soon, it's going to be different conditions, etc. So it's nice to get some insight. Let's talk about that opening partnership because I thought it was really key. The way Tony Rezoisi particularly and Eddie complemented each other. I mean, Tony put in a proper four-day knock here, took his time at the crease, batted. It was difficult in the morning a little bit, especially facing Ardis for you. And give me some insight into his batting and Ardis, what it was like to envision that and see that in front of you and the way he approaches him. Yeah, I think like you mentioned, um, with the wicket, with there being a bit more grass than we're probably used to seeing, um, when you win the toss and choose to bat, you, you need your openness to go out there and really guts it out. And I think Eddie and Tony did that exceptionally well. Um, and I think they also scored quite freely whilst doing that, which is really good for us. It sort of got us quite a f quite far ahead in the game. Um, but yeah, Eddie um, in particular was, was really, really good, showed positive intent. It allowed Tony on the other end to just sort of take his time, um, get himself into the game and, and take it from there. And then yeah, Tony, once, once Eddie got out and, and Tony sort of took the lead, he, yeah. he batted exceptionally well. Um, he's a really, really good player. Um, he's been batting really nicely um, in pre-season and in the build-up to this competition. Um, and yeah, it seems like he's in a really good space at the moment. So yeah, when someone's someone's batting as nicely as him, it's nice to sort of see them get their rewards and, and get big runs like that. It put the Paul Rocks under a lot of pressure. We saw their, their bowlers a little bit wobble a bit with the lines and lengths, etc. Kind of made it easier to score as the game goes along, but I guess that's four-day cricket. Yeah. Uh, when it came to your innings, I mean, a quick one, I think you scored at almost a 90 strike rate. It's like, it's an amazing to me to see you move around the crease like that, coming out, the, the, the sixes that you hit, of course. Let's talk about your innings. Um, is this how you want to approach your innings every single time you bat? No, definitely not. I think what Tony and Eddie did up front there allows me to do what I did. Um, and Georgie as well, when he came in, he played quite freely. Um, but we can't do that without the, the start that we got up front. I think against the Titans as well, uh, we sort of had a nice platform and I could come in and be quite aggressive. So. Yeah, if the situation allows for it, um, then I'll do that. But it's not necessarily a particular approach that I want to take on. I think it's just um, it's more a compliment to the guys at the top order yeah. what uh, the work that they did. Uh, when I came in, uh, the bowlers were already quite tired. We're already going at 4.5s or something like that. So um, yeah, it sort of allowed me to just just play shots. Um, if I got out, I don't want to say it didn't matter, but we had such a good foundation. We were so far ahead of the game already. Um, that I could just come in and, and be aggressive and sort of look to take the game on. They had an excellent partnership there with George. It wasn't spoken about enough actually over on social media, etc. about the way he actually played. Can you give me some insight into that? Yeah, I think myself and Georgie over the years have had quite a few um, partnerships, particularly here at Newlands. Um, it's really nice batting with him. I think um, he's probably just as aggressive as me so that if we, if we get on a roll, I think we put bowlers under quite a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a massive, massive partnership. I think we were we weren't quite sure when to declare what was going to be a good total um, going into the start of, of day two. Um, but yeah, when he came out and played like that, it sort of made us made our decision a lot easier. We got to our targets a lot sooner than we thought we would. And it just gave us so much time in the game. So yeah, massive credit to him. Um, yeah, excellent, excellent innings from him uh, yesterday. Now, we know that Dean Algar asked you the domestic cricketers to score runs. He asked the guys that were in the team to score runs and score big. You've answered the call, two, two great performances. I want to ask you what you're going to take from this particular game. Like you just said now, you're not going to bat like this every single game. But what can you take from this that you can bring into your national call-up now going into Australia? Uh, obviously, I take a lot of confidence just knowing that I've got some runs behind me. Um, I think England was quite a tough test series for, for all the batters, really. Um, and yeah, the T20 comp, obviously, for, for us at Western Province didn't really go according to plan. Um, so yeah, to get, get runs like this, it sort of gives yourself a bit of... Uh, bit of confidence it uh, yeah 
allows me to just keep believing in what I'm doing. I think that's probably the most important thing going into international series. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to really be questioning yourself going into a big series like Australia. Um, so from my side, I think it's just taking confidence and, and sort of knowing that, that what I do um, will work and just, just carry on doing that. And just lastly, managing your bowlers on this particular wicket. I, I got a little insight that it was nipping around a little bit from watching when you guys took over. But what I think you guys did well, and you must correct me if I'm wrong here, is that the experienced bowlers kept the ball on specific lines and links consistently, and that's what differentiates the two bowling attacks? Yeah, I know, spot on. I think um, from our guys to have, have someone like Dane Patterson and Buren Hendricks leading the attack, it's, yeah, makes my job really, really easy. Um, but yeah, our bowlers were exceptional. It also helps when you've got a got a world-class spinner in George Lindu who's bowling from the one side. Um, if you need to just give the bowlers, give the seamers a bit of a breather, you just put George on and you know the game's going to be under control. So that makes it really easy. And then, yeah, you've got Pato who's come off a long English summer, bowled plenty of overs. And every time I tell him he's done bowling, he asks me for one more over. Oh, so that just, that just makes my life easy. Um, Mareki as well. I know he maybe went for a few runs in this game, but, you know, his energies was outstanding. Um, he stuck to the plan. Um, and, yeah, Nandre as well. Buren, it's just unbelievable effort from them. I think there was a lot in that wicket the whole game. Um, I think they maybe missed their lengths a little bit, missed their lines and maybe got a bit impatient. But our guys were just, yeah, relentless and, yeah, just made my life really, really easy. Enjoying captains? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed quite a bit. I think, yeah, from my side, I enjoy the, the off-field stuff more. I'm <laughs> um, just making sure the team's in a good space, just checking in with all the guys. I think I'm, I'm quite good at that. Um, but, yeah, like I said, when you've got a bowling attack like that, it's, it's quite easy on the field, if I'm being honest. Thanks a lot. Good luck, Al. Cheers, Cheers,